our capital plan, and I want to be clear, this is within our capital plan, my government is going to be accelerating some projects in your communities. Today I'm announcing a total of $207 million for projects that we can get started this year. New investments in schools, in roads, hospitals, housing projects and more. By using taxpayers' money wisely, we've been able to get those projects going faster. And now we have a chance, because we were careful, because we were diligent and disciplined, to reinvest that money that we saved in the community infrastructure that is so vital to holding families together all across the province. So yesterday, you know that the Minister of Health announced that we have reached a tentative agreement with BC nurses under cooperative gains. And today, I am able to announce that we have also reached two more tentative agreements. The first is with resident doc doctors, and then late yesterday, we also reached an agreement with the BC GEU representing 26,000 direct government loans. I've been to Golden, I've been to Salmon Arm, I've been to Revelstoke, I have traveled the highway that links them, and I've met with mayors and councillors along the way, and I have heard your concerns. So here's my commitment to you. We will accelerate our efforts to complete the four-laning of the Trans-Canada Highway between Kamloops and the Alberta border. Long may you run! If you are serious about balancing your budget, you believe in a balanced budget law. Our plan is making British Columbia the economic engine of Canada. But we will only be that economic engine if we all continue to work together as we have. Despite the tough challenges, ladies and gentlemen, because of all of your hard work, because of all of the hard work that your citizens put in, Canada really does start right here. I look very much forward to seeing all of you again next year and reporting again on the progress that we are making together. Thank you.